book review on video. This time, Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, uh, who was uh, a new author to me. This is the first of his books that I've read. And uh, this book is uh, in the genre Young Adult Fiction, uh, which is uh, huge. Uh, just too big in my opinion. This is kind of science fiction-y. Uh, I often like to read uh, young adult fiction. I am often uh, quite impressed with the authors working in that genre. Um, they often take more chances and explore other possibilities than uh, authors writing for uh, specifically adult readers do. I think maybe that's because young readers, i.e young teens maybe, uh, they don't have their ideas set in stone yet, whereas if you're writing for adults, you know that uh, you're dealing with certain norms. This is how it's done. If you write historical fiction, this is what you do. If you write uh, whatever fiction, this is what you do. Romance such and such, um, dystopian fiction such and such. And your readers have very often uh, have very fixed expectations, so there's less room for the writer to push the envelope, so to speak. Whereas uh, if you have readers who are maybe like 14, they won't have their expectations uh, fixed yet in that way. So for the author, there's much more room to sort of uh, try new things, try new concepts to see what works. Uh, this is the first book in a series of what was supposed to be three, of course, trilogy, how original. But now uh, it's actually four, apparently. There's like a companion volume whatever. Uh, the first book, Uglies, uh, is in my opinion a very very good read. I will definitely be both buying and reading the next uh, three novels. Uh, I was really impressed with the originality of this book. I thought it was uh, very well written. The characters are very good. Uh, the plot really keeps you on your toes and uh, overall this is uh, just it's not a good book in the young adult genre, it's a good book, period. Uh, the plot is quite intriguing. Uh, the main character, her name is Tali. Uh, she lives in a world where basically everyone fits into a certain mold. Uh, you're young, you're pre-16, or you're over 16. Because on your 16th birthday something really weird happens. Uh, or you're middle-aged or older, in which case you're to Tali's generation. Totally uninteresting. Um, the book is called Uglies because that's what Tali is. She is an ugly. Uh, that is to say she has not yet turned 16. In the society, which lives in basically one city, uh, boxed in, they stay in their city, they don't move outside it. Um, when you turn 16, and this is normal across the world, when you turn 16 you have an operation makes you into a pretty. Basically makes you just drop dead beautiful. Uh, and when you're pretty, the uglies, they go to school, they live in certain compounds, uh, they go to school, they learn things, but the pretties, they live in a separate part of town where basically they do nothing but party and have fun. And that's the life that Tali is desperately dreaming of because she is so ugly that she can't bear to look like this. Uh, she just longs for the day when she too will be pretty. And meet again, of course, her best friend, who is older than she is, so she, he has already become pretty, and he is on the other side of the river in pretty town. Uh, this sounds kind of stupid, but I promise you it's not. It's actually a really clever concept, and he really makes it work. Uh, of course, all these uglies, they're not uglies. See this girl pictured on the cover? Uh, they're just normal, by our standards, normal. But the society is so fixated on the exterior that anyone who is normal is ugly because the world here is really focused on an extreme form of beauty. Uh, they all look the same, of course, pretty much the same. The big eyes, the high cheekbones, all of that that the human brain is supposedly programmed to find pretty. Of course, they learn in school, the young uglies, that being ugly is just something to do with the way you're born. It's just the eye conveys certain signals to the brain, and the brain is biologically locked into perceiving certain things as beautiful and certain things as ugly, and there's just nothing we can do about that. That's just the way we evolve, so we just have to do the surgery to make you pretty. Um, as I said, her best friend's already turned pretty, 
and has left the compound and she's kind of lonely, our heroine, Tally. Uh, but she makes new friends. Uh, in particular, one specific gar girl uh, called Shay, who is basically like no one Tally's ever known. And who wants to do things that Tally's never even considered doing, like leaving the city and going out not only to the so-called Rusty Ruins, which is um, a place where Tally's been, all the uglies go there on excursions with their school. She wants to go farther. And when I say she wants to go farther, she really wants to go all the way. Because uh, there are things outside the city that Tally's never heard of that most both uglies and pretties have never heard of. That Shay says is being deliberately kept from people. Uh, I'm not going to really say a lot about what happens because it really gives away a lot of the plot. But um, you can probably imagine what's outside the city, uh, who's outside the city. Uh, but um, I think Westerfield does a really good job of pointing up flaws in our own society using this extreme society, uh, which of course has developed from ours. This is a sort of post-apocalyptic um, future, as you will learn to understand over time, you know, hints or just a lot of hints drops throughout the book that you realize something really bad has happened here. Uh, and of course everyone is told that they're lucky to still be alive, they're lucky uh, that our civilization has survived uh, this cataclysm and everything is better now. The Rusties, as they call them, or rather us, uh, our civilization, they were just, uh, they did everything wrong and they had to pay for it and now we're gonna do things right. Uh, but of course there were certain things in Rusty uh, society that it's hard to avoid uh, humans being what they are but of course uh, if you can change people's outside maybe you can change their insides too it's uh, it's a very intriguing conceit that he uses and I think it works really well I think the book is well written um, he's using various uh, of course uh, concepts like uglies and pretties and all of that uh, that don't exist in our society, but he uses normal English words to convey brand new concepts, non-existent concepts, and I think he does really well with that. So language-wise, this is a great book for young readers, because he doesn't introduce a lot of difficult words, he doesn't introduce uh, non-existent words like fantasy words or uh, porn words, he just uses plain English, but he does it very cleverly, very originally, and um, I think he's, uh, he's a very talented writer. I'm going to definitely be reading more of his books. Um, this ending leaves uh, the book open for more, um, more stories, and as I said, it's the first in the trilogy. Uh, and he does a really good job of starting a story, starting a setting, and then throughout the story, opening the setting up, and really not forcing a sequel on there, but really uh, letting us see the wide field of stories to be told. Uh, without making it too ambitious, because it really it is Tali's story, her friends, uh, and uh, her experiences. And she grows a lot as a character, I think he depicts that really well. Um, if I was a teenager, say 13, I would just have totally loved this book. I would have just been crazy about uh, the whole concept. Uh, as it is, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I read it quickly, as much as I could. I thought it was... Uh, uh, original, intelligent, well written, great characterization, really very little negative to say about this book. Uh, another point in the favor of young adult fiction. Um, an original writer putting his talent to very good use. Scott Westerfeld, uh, Uglies, the first book in the Ugly series. And again, I will definitely be reading more of this guy.